Hey guys, welcome back to the Vera Projects. A lot of people have been asking me how can I go ahead and do a live feed of the camera when <clears throat> you're going ahead and you're printing an item, right? So let me go ahead and show you how it is that it's done. So first things first is um, I did set up a Raspberry Pi and this is connected straight to the printer and then this one here is connected to the camera here. I printed out this bracket here that allows you to mount the camera and be able to go ahead and see what's actually printing. So today I'm gonna print out a uh, bookmarker uh, from The Witcher, The Witcher Show. And uh, I'm gonna put it to do time lapse and I'm also gonna stream it live. And I'm gonna show you the tools that I use in order for me to do that. All right, so as you see now that I am, I'm actually logged into Octoprint, so I actually able to see the camera itself, right? And uh, what you're gonna wanna do in order to stream this, you're gonna wanna go ahead and download this open broadcast software. So they have it for uh, the three platforms. And then once you've downloaded that, you're gonna go ahead and open it, right? And which is, this is the software itself. And what you're gonna do is, uh, the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go to settings and stream. And then here you're gonna pick the uh, server provider that you're gonna do live stream with. So I had already selected YouTube. And then um, uh, you're gonna have the ability here to connect it with an API key or a key itself. And how you find that key. So let me go ahead and uh, let me show you this, disconnect. And then I want to use uh, use stream. You can use a stream key, or you can connect to the account automatically. I connected the account automatically, which is a lot easier. So you allow it. Now you're good to go. You go back to the software, and it is connected. You see. Now you press apply. Okay, you're good to go there. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a scene. So you're gonna click on the plus sign, you're gonna give the scene a name. So I, I, I called it 3D printer Ender 5 Plus. So basically this is what it looks like. And then I went ahead and I added my camera from uh, Octoprint. And basically what happens here, if you start from scratch, you do a plus and you're gonna do browse. And you're gonna give your camera a name so you can call it maybe your Logitech, right? Okay, and then what's gonna happen is it's gonna bring up this information here, right? So in order for you to get the URL, you're gonna go ahead and go to your Octoprint. Okay, and then you gotta go to settings, webcam, and this is your, uh, your, your stream URL, but there's a better way of grabbing it. If you actually click on test and you right click and you say copy image address. Okay. You're going to go ahead and grab that and place it in here. And then you're going to add your, uh, <clears throat> whatever your width and height of your camera is, right? So let's just leave it at that for now to kind of see what it looks like. And there it is, see, it's already showing it. So in my case, I, I actually adjusted mine slightly. In my case, I adjusted mine and the, uh, the settings that I had put on mine were, if I close this one, I'll take this one out, delete this one. If I go into mine, I put my width to be 1000 and the height to be 550. And that's how you have it set up. Then all you gotta do is you gotta click on start stream. And it's gonna say you gotta manage your broadcast. So here, what I'm gonna do is I wanna give it the title of what I'm actually printing. So this is called the Witcher bookmark. And maybe right now you wanna make it public or you can make it private, uh, whatever it is you like to do. Um, Today I'm gonna to go ahead and kind of make this private just so I can show you how to test it. And here you can choose if it's made for kids or not, it's up to you. 
and then you do is um, create broadcast and start streaming, right? Once that happens, what's going to happen is you're going to go back to your browser. You got to go to your live stream. go to your studio.youtube you're going to go to your content you're going to click on live feed here and then you're actually able to view the live feed okay so now what i'm going to do is now that it's streaming and all that i want to go ahead and actually add a print file in here so here's the witcher file from simplify 3d I'm gonna go ahead and prepare to print. It tells you how long it's gonna take, an hour 47. I'm gonna save this to my desktop for now. Save. <clears throat> and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to the browser and you're gonna add that file from desktop. And when you drag it in here, you're going to upload locally. Here it is. It's uploading now. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit print. And then if you kind of go back here to the dashboard, I mean your temperature, you're gonna notice that the the first thing that it does, it heats up the bed, right? Uh, that's the first thing that it does. And the preferences are coming in from uh, Simplify 3D. So however you have your profile set there, that's where it's bringing in the information. And then once the temperature gets to about 60 on the bed, then it, it'll go ahead and I'll put my desired temperature that came from Simplify 3D and that was uh, 220 degrees. And I can show you that on the profile here. Double click, temperature. You see that I have my heat bed at 60 down here and then I have my extruder at 220. So it's grabbing the information from here and applying it into the uh, Octoprint, okay? So as soon as that gets to the desired temperature, then what's going to happen is that it's going to go ahead and start moving. Okay, so now the temperature got to the level it needed to be and it's starting to uh, create that time lapse in here when it's done and it's also streaming on YouTube. So you should be able to go ahead and see it live on YouTube. You can share this with whoever you like, even if it's private, you can still share it with somebody if you like for people to see the progress, or you can go ahead and move it to uh, live afterwards. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that uh, you like uh, the video itself and uh, how to set up, how quickly it is to set it up. And this is the live stream right here. Uh, go ahead and subscribe and uh, hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time with another great video. Thanks for watching.